So somebody at Rockstar has definitely made a mistake and they've managed to release a native ARM version of GTA Trilogy Definitive Edition for the Apple Silicon Mac. And clearly these games were designed to be only run on iPhones and iPads. And to be honest, this is a pretty arbitrary decision because these iOS games can run just fine on the Apple Silicon Mac. But today I'm gonna to show you how to download this game on the Mac App Store. And we're also gonna be sideloading these applications using our old friend PlayCover. So PlayCover was used to sideload games impact in the past and today we're going to be using it instead to sideload GTA Trilogy Definitive Edition for Netflix. So I'm going to show you the process from start to finish for both methods and get these games working as well as they can for the Apple Silicon Mac. So first things first if we go to the Mac App Store and type in GTA into the search bar we're not actually going to find the links that we want. Interestingly if we look at the actual App Store links GTA Vice City Definitive Edition actually has Mac support here. However the the other versions of GTA 3 Definitive don't have the same Mac support and nor does San Andreas. So this looks like some kind of mistake. I'll leave a link in the description for the official version of GTA Vice City Definitive Edition. You can go ahead and open this up in the Mac App Store. And it says here it's going to work on this MacBook Pro. So I'm just going to go ahead and buy this and make this purchase official. So if we scroll down to applications, we can see that GTA Vice City has been installed. And we can see that this is a native ARM Apple Silicon optimized application. And what I'm going to do is double click to open this. So this is going to start its download process. And you can see that this is in its four by three aspect ratio. We're just going to let this download all of its assets. So once you're in the game, what we're going to do is to accept the terms and conditions. And I would definitely highly recommend using a controller as the actual touch support is not great. You're going to have a much better time using any kind of Bluetooth controller, for example, Xbox Series or PlayStation DualSense controller for PS5. And you can press the green button to full screen the application. And as you can see, game mode is also turned on, which is going to make this a bit more optimized for the Mac. So whilst you're playing, you can see that we're stuck at this four by three aspect ratio, which is the same as the iPad. And it also looks like we're locked to 30 FPS, which is the same as on my mobile device as well. Even though I'm pretty sure that the M1 Max can definitely run this easily at 60 FPS and higher. It seems to be frame capped, which is a real shame. So if you actually want to play GTA Vice City or any other games in the trilogy, add the full 16 by 9 or 16 by 10 widescreen aspect ratio. And you don't want to pay the pretty atrociously high Mac App Store cost for this game. Then what I highly recommend that you do is to use the Netflix Netflix version and sideload using play cover which I'm going to show you how to do now. So the first thing I'm going to do is to go to the playcover.io website and then I'm going to go to the nightly build section of this downloads page which we're going to access by going to docs here then we can go to section 1.1 download and install play cover and then click on this link here latest nightly version and click on here. So I'm also going to leave a link to this in the description but basically this is going to link to the latest version which at the time recording is 575. So here we're going to download the artifact version of play cover so just go ahead and click on this and then we'll put this in our downloads folder just give that a moment so once that's downloaded we're going to go to the finder folder here and then go to downloads and then double click on the play cover nightly in order to extract it and then we have the dmg file here which we're going to double click and then this play cover version is a little bit different colored from standard play cover but we're going to go ahead and drag and drop it into our applications folder here and we're going to replace whatever old version that we had so next we're going to double click on play cover. Here it's saying it can't be opened. So what we need to do is to hold down the control key, click on play cover, then press open. And then now we can manually open this by pressing the open button here. So now we're ready to go ahead and install any decrypted app files. So these are IPA files. And I'm not going to leave a link to the decrypted IPA in the description. Have you look at the documents section again on 1.2, then there's a couple of links that we can use. We can find decrypted IPAs here. So I'm not going to leave a link to these websites directly. However, you can go ahead and find them on this second link here. Just go ahead and type in the correct keywords. And then what we're going to do is to download this version of the game by clicking this decrypt this app button. So when you click on the link, it's going to ask you to create an account. Just go ahead and sign up and then you can go ahead and create an account. So now we're ready to go ahead and download the app and then we're going to press decrypt this app. 
Here we're going to put it into our downloads folder and just let that download. So once the decrypted app has finished downloading, we can go ahead and load this into play cover. So within the app library, we're going to press import IPA, and then we're going to select the file that we've just downloaded, the Netflix version of GTA San Andreas Definitive Edition. So it's saying here, extracting app from IPA file. And once that's done, we have GTA San Andreas in our folder here. So you can tweak some of the settings here using this cog. You can see key mapping, graphics settings based on which iOS device it's trying to emulate. You might want to maximize this if you want to take advantage of higher graphics settings. I'm going to change mine to the iPad Pro M2. In terms of resolution, I'm going to try running this at 1080p, but you can definitely try higher resolutions and aspect ratios here. Here we've got resolution scaler, some custom fixes here. I'm going to leave the bypasses at its default settings. I want to keep miscellaneous the same. And then this is all the information of the app that we're installing. So press OK here. It's now ready to go ahead and double click to play. Here it's saying it's verifying. Let's crash unexpectedly. We're going to try opening this again. Now the Netflix logo shows up. So once that's loaded up, we can press the download button and it's going to download the rest of the game assets. Of course, to play this version, you're going to need an active Netflix subscription in order to play this game. So make sure you have that ready for when this completes its download. When the download's done, we can see that the game is loading up. So it says here, welcome to Netflix games, sign in with your Netflix account to get unlimited access to this game and other exclusive mobile games. So here we're going to press next, and then we're going to sign in with our active Netflix account. So basically, once we're logged in, we're ready to start the game. So I found the actual touchscreen controls a little bit tricky. So I do recommend that you pair Bluetooth controller, Xbox One or DualSense controller is recommended. But anyway, you can see that this is a far superior way of playing the game. We have the proper 16 by 9 aspect ratio, which is similar to an iPhone. However, it's a shame that this is still capped to 30 FPS and there isn't an option to change this. Now, I suspect that this is the case because several mobile devices like lower end iPhones and lower end iPads probably can't run this game much higher than 30 FPS. But those of us with higher end chips can't seem to force this to run any faster. So that's a real shame. So anyway, that's my guide on how to get GTA Definitive Edition working on the Apple Silicon Mac. If you find any tips or improvements on how to get these games running better on the Mac, then please make sure to leave a comment. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.